Hello everyone, so in this first redo we're going to look at how to create a package, how to create a class within the package, and how to define some methods and see if everything is working correctly. So first you can open the Faro menu, then go to the Tools, then System Browser. So there you can see all the packages that are loaded within your image, so there are quite a lot. But since we want to create a new one, we can right-click on any of them and just go to New Package. So we'll state My Counter, press OK. So our package has been created there, but since we don't really want to see the, all the other ones, we can just filter it out to My Counter. So there, our package is there, it is quite empty. And we have a template to create a class, so it will be a subclass of the class object. And we can name it there, so let's name it counter. And we can attribute an instance variable to it, so let's go with count. So then we can see that there is this orange triangle on the top right corner, so this means that your method has not been compiled, and in order to do so you can right click and go to accept or press the shortcut common S, so let's just accept. So there it is, our class has been created, but there is an, a red exclamation mark on the right side. This means that there is no comment, as you can see there, there is a comment, but it is simply recommendations on how to comment your class. So you are encouraged to do it, but we are not going to do it right now. We are just going to write a method, so let's just go to this tab right here. Let's double click and write some accessors to our instance variable. So let's go to count. So this will be the getter. So we just written the count instance variable. The orange triangle is there, so press common S. Our method is there. Now if we want to make the setter, let's just count and pass it an integer and the count variable should now get the value of this integer so we can just write this like that compile it again, common s we have our two accessors they have been put into the accessing protocol automatically and this is correct so now let's see if we can make all those work. So let's go to another tool called the Playground. So let's just go to the Faro menu, go to Tools, then Playground, and from there we can create a temporary variable that we call C. We can make it a counter, so C equal counter new. And now we want the count instance variable to be 7. And in order to see if this chain has common effects, we can just call the getter C count. And in order to see everything, you can just double click at the end so it selects everything, and then press common P, or just right click and go to print it. And we can see that this is 7, this is a value we attributed to the instant variable, so it is correct. So in this video, we saw how to create a package, a class some accessors methods and how I can visualize it in the playground but this behavior right here we might want to put this in a test and we'll see that in the next part of the redo